Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Phantasm. Hello. Last we left off, we got in our drain cleaner, we asked a bit about town and found out some more about our house, Adrian nearly had the old antique lady murder her for being such a pest, and we got a free soup bone. And actually, we did get a tip from Harv, the general store owner about Malcolm, who lived on the edge of town. And if you recall, we had this house with the guard dog, so I'm assuming this is his house. And now that we have a soup bone, maybe we can pacify the dog and let him let us pass by. Good dog. <laughs> nice doggy. There we go. All right. Oh, let's steal his mail. <laughs> what do we got? Oh God, his porn bell from R. Williams. Hmm, little reference there if you know it. To Malcolm Wormshadow. Well, she at least doesn't open the sealed letter, if nothing else. That was fascinating, but let's go in. Yes, I'm sure that he'll appreciate the fact that you're essentially opening it from the other side and letting yourself in. Let's see if he's home. I'm assuming he is. I mean, he's 110. I don't think he goes out much. Oh. Well, she seems pleasant. I just love that. She's just like, no. Get out. I guess that's a dead end. Looks like she's not gonna let us talk to him unless we have a pretty valid reason. And she just closed that gate on her hand. I'm sure she must have dead nerves by now, along with her dead brain. Alright, back to town we go. But back to town. Back to, back to our house. Yes, we pack up and we end up right back in town. We're trapped here forever. Skip. And we're home. Oh, the barn door is open. Did Don get it open? I don't imagine who else would have. Hello. Anybody in here? There's anybody, anybody there's anybody there, you better come out right now. I'm a right I'm a novelist. Don't make me hurt you with my pen. Oh. You can see like a little shifting shadow up here. What do we have in here? It's an empty stall. It's some ominous oh. Who's there? Hello? Adrian, you, you can see the whole stall. No one's hiding in it. I mean, they're hiding up there, clearly. Well, let's click on it again. Because why not? I mean, what else could possibly be in the stall? Oh! Hey there, Spaz. What a nice kitty. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to him. That was a pretty well-executed jump scare. 
and this game doesn't have that many jump scares, so, you know, I'll indulge the occasional one or two. And again, the cat is rather not happy to see her. Though I can't say I blame him. I mean, I like playing this game, and I'm not, and I'm never really happy to see her either. Yes, yes, he went away. Actually, how did he even get out of the house and get to the barn? Did he, like, follow you out when you went to town? We can also look over here. What's this? Looks like some kind of makeshift campfire. Along with a couple of pots and pans. Has someone been living in our barn? That'd be kind of bizarre. Back to back jump scares. Have you been playing house again? Can't you see? We're not alone on this island. <laughs> we're probably just some vagrants. I, I never got here. that line. It's like clearly we're not alone on this island. There's a town like five minutes away. They better not be Because if I get your asses around here. Don't don't. Well, he seems exceptionally more violent than he was but yesterday. No, Spaz can be pretty vicious. Plus, he is a black cat, so you never know. Uh, oh, we can't really leave. Give him what he wants. All right, I'll give him my body. I got work to do. Okay. I don't want you hanging around out here. I want you to stay up at the house. Stay up at the house. Okay, this is also an aspect of the plot that I never got. The day after attaining, after receiving a head injury, Don suddenly undergoes a very drastic personality shift, becomes extremely possessive and violent towards everything and everyone, and yet she shows absolutely no concern about that. She never, like, asks him if he needs to go to a hospital, she never calls anyone about it. Yes, yes, panning view. Lovely. She never calls anyone about it. Um, did we do our fortune? We did our fortune already, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. Oh. oh, this is what happens if you try to get your fortune again. But yeah, it's like, after attaining a head injury, if someone's personality shifts that freaking much, I think that's some cause for concern. I don't know. Maybe Adrian's two working brain cells just didn't think of that. But, anyway. If you're wondering why we're heading back into the kitchen, there's actually a bizarre little Easter egg that you can do with the drain cleaner. And that's why I didn't give it to him when we were in the stables. But, if you... T if you're in this screen right here, if you click the drain cleaner, you can see that some red splotches have appeared on Adrian's shoes. I think it's supposed to be blood, but, you know. And there's actually a second part to this easter egg. If you go down into the cellar, and go into the dungeon cell, click it, and the little swatch of red is now on her head. Yeah, it's not exactly an amazing easter egg. It's certainly no... <sighs> but, you know. This one's at least is less disgusting. Anyway. I guess we should go give him the drain cleaner, but there is actually one or two, or two more things we can do around the house. So we're just gonna make a couple side trips beforehand.
And actually, let's go back to the chapel, because we never really did get a good chance to look around, but with Don's head injury and everything interrupting us so rudely. But we know that this is, like, Carno's genealogy, but what's in this box? Let's open it again. Oh no, she released a second murderous ghost! Nope, looks like she's found a book. What kind of book? Come on. Hey, it's our cursor! Yeah, that looks like an important book. Looks like it. Are they letters? Are they numbers? Did you learn to read? Latin. Ah, it's Latin. It's been a long time since Latin class. <laughs> yeah, I, I took Spanish in high school, sweetie, not Latin. I mean, I took four years of Spanish, and I still don't know how to say anything past, like, Hello, my name is this. How are you? And even then, I can, like, barely manage that. <sighs> but... Looks like she doesn't want to take the book with her, so... I guess. That was interesting. Maybe, then, maybe we'll find a use for that book later, who knows. I mean, it seems like import it would be important. But then again, Adrian's sense of what's important varies rather drastically. She won't take the incredibly valuable ring that technically belongs to her, since it's in her home. But she will take a newspaper, and an old hammer. I I don't know what her thought process is. Again, we could give him the drain cleaner now, but there's a couple more things we can do upstairs. Notably, we should head over to the observatory. There's something there that I actually forgot to show. Oh. It's a baby. Why is there a baby cry? Oh. Why is there a baby crying? Adrian, are you not telling us some- Oh. Alright, looks like the spirit's crying. Oh. And apparently the rocking chair is possessed. Adrian, why are you approaching it? Turn around. No, no, Adrian, you're doing it wrong. Okay, good. You, you killed this. The ki you killed the music in the room. Now get the hell out. Okay, good. She showed some common sense for once. Yeah, that's actually a pretty creepy scene. And no, no, if you were wondering, she still does not believe in ghosts. Personally, after seeing something like that, I would just be like, Okay, honey, we're staying in a hotel for a few days while we get a new house. Oh. The painting. It's a little different than it was yesterday. Hmm. Not by much, though. Maybe we just, I don't know, didn't notice it. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind, who knows. But yeah, nothing much there. But with that, I'd say we're pretty definitively done. Yep, we're right on the precipice of Chapter 3. So, nothing left to do but go give Honey our drain cleaner. Dawn. Got you the thing you wanted. Come on, Don. Here's the drain cleaner you requested. Jeez. Yeah. Thanks. He just sounds so appreciative. Honey, are 
you feeling all right? Does your head still hurt? Adrian, leave me alone. I'm fine. Don't you think we should take you to a hospital or something? I mean, you've been acting kind of weird since you hit your head. Like a little pasta? Maybe some salad? A little vino? Yeah, sounds great. Call me when it's ready. Well, aren't you just a dick? You know, I actually never noticed how small he and she are compared to the size of that door. It's like twice their size. Yeah. Well, anyways. I suppose we can get through the intro movie to the next chapter, so let's continue on for a bit more. Chapter 3, Thursday, October 20th, 12.30 p.m. And again, yet another super long panning shot. Oh, and they apparently they have a gazebo of sorts. <laughs> Which I forgot to show when we were exploring the grounds because you can only get to it through a pretty damn convoluted method. And they're having a nice little picnic. And they're still in the same clothes that they were three days ago. It's a nice day for a picnic, don't you think, honey? Yeah, I guess so. So good to get you out of that dark room. Yeah, how did you even manage to convince him to get out here? Well, I've got work to do, Adrian. We're not finished yet. Don, it can wait. You need to take some time out to relax. You're so stressed out. I've got publishing deadlines. Can you understand that? You see, I don't get the same ass-kissing royal treatment your publisher gives you. Oh. Don. Uh. What can you say about that's that? kind of inexcusable. I mean, you threw a cigarette at the cat. Oh, that's huh? wrong. Whatever. And yeah, still having violent tendencies, still showing pain in his head. Yeah. Oh. Someone's hiding over there. There's no one else on our property who could be over there. If nothing else, let's just fold up our picnic first. Oh, oh movie. Oh! <laughs> Farewell, picnic basket. You will be missed. But anyway, what do you have to say about that stranger over there? Someone is behind that tree. Do you dare walk over there? How's this for an answer? A deck of tarot cards. Good to know. Well, anyway, I think that's enough for right now. We'll save the thrilling conclusion to just who behind that tree is. Yes, I... Well, that sentence came out horribly. I can speak English, I swear. But yes, we'll save the thrilling conclusion for next time. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed. See you then.